Hello and welcome again to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create this twisted wire. Let's start by creating a new file by going to new and general. Uh, we don't want to save this. Let's delete the default cube by hitting X and delete. Add in a new object. You can also come up here, mess and select a cylinder or you can hit shift A and select the cylinder. We want to scale this down by hitting S and scale it in and increase the length by hitting S and scale it along Z axis. Let's scroll in more. Now we want to apply loop cut to this. So let's go to tab and control R and add some loop cut. I think that should be enough. Let's select that. Let's go out of uh, edit mode by hitting tab and let's go to material to apply color. Let's change this to material preview. Let's go to material and new and change the color. We can change this to red and let's bring the slider of the roughness down to make it more a little bit shiny. Okay, now we need to duplicate this three more times. To do that, let's go to top view by hitting seven on our numpad. Scroll in, press, let's select the move tool and duplicate this. To duplicate it, holding down Shift and D, click to release it to the original position. Hold on to the slider or one of the X axis, Y axis, and move it out of the original mess. And we can change the color. To change this color, we go to this material slots and click this plus button and click new and select a color you want to apply. Let's select blue to apply this to our duplicate cylinder or mesh we go to edit mode by hitting tab to go to edit mode and because you can see some of the vertices are not selected so we have to select them all to do that let's hit a to select and now we can assign this color to this mesh by clicking this assign button and you can see we have assigned the blue color to this mess. We can duplicate these two objects or the mess together by selecting it and hold Shift D, release it and drag this out of the original mess. We want to change the color of this one by selecting that, go again to the add material slots, click on that and adding a new material. This time let's add a color which is green. Let's bring it down, the brightness slider down, make it a little bit dark. And to assign this, let's go to edit mode, A to select all and assign the color. Let's assign another color to this by selecting that. Let's go to the add slot, material slot by hitting new and leave it as white. Let's bring down the slider down of the roughness. And now let's assign this by going to edit mode. A to select all of them and assign. Now let's bring down the roughness down of this blue mesh here. Now we want to get our origin which is this little dot here to in the center of this. Now we want to bring it to where the 3D Kesha is which is on the red. It is here on the red mesh. Now let's join these mess to messes together by selecting all of them. You can hold down shift and click individual or you can just click on one end and drag it across to select all the mess in the scene. There are two ways we can do to join. The shortcut is Ctrl J or you can come to this menu here under object, select join and click. And now they're all one object. Let's get this object to the center of the 3D. So let's right click here set origin to 3d kesa okay let's set our origin to 3d kesa now let's set this material origin to the 3d kesa let's do that by right click set origin geometry to origin now you can see they're in center now right click on it and say it smooth we will apply a subsurface modifier first by going to modifier properties Add modifier and select subsurface modifier. Okay, um, we can smooth it out this one by tap to go to edit mode and control alt to apply a loop cut 
and you just bring it up here you can do the same for the others beating this one up the reason the edge has been round is because we apply a modifier to that so to get this uh, shape back as the original we need to apply a loop cut and bring it up to fix that and there we have it let's go out of edit mode now we can apply another modifier which is this modifier here simple deform let's select that and once we apply that change the shape of our geometry we can change again to the original by modifier properties which is the deform simple deform let's go to axis and change this to z axis and you can see they're coming back to their position now to do have that little twisted wire under deform angle and you can put on whatever angle you want to let's try 360 and you can see it twists nicely around that let's do that again increase it to 720 and when you increase the value up you can see it become a little bit not smooth as we expected so let's decrease it down and goes to 500 and it's have a nice round there and that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching this video if you want to see more tutorials like this please subscribe to our channel that will really help us to boost us up to continue doing more tutorials to help nice people like you see you all again next time